Today's title, we talking about transcendence. I don't know if many of you saw the movie Transcendence, but if you have not heard of it, go and check out the movie because Hollywood always do a good job of uh, letting us get a sneak peek into the future. Sci-fi is like a sneak peek into what the future is going to look like. Um, the stuff we're going to be talking about today, some of y'all familiar with because I always touch on it. But um, it's just a topic that I wanted to bring to the forefront. Hopefully, if there's any globalist that's going to be watching today, if they would like to join me, I would actually give them the pin link to join the call. Globalist only, let yourself be known. The question I want to ask them is, why is um, interstellar travel going to be possible via mind uploading? We don't even got to debate this. It don't have to be disagreements or, or negative energy. It can be an intelligent conversation. All I want to know from global is only not because one thing that I find disappointing, you know, when I was into the globe earth cosmology, one one thing that that I was obsessed with was space travel uh, as a young man. When I thought about space and I would believe in the globe, I always wanted to see what it was like, you know what I'm saying? And especially Saturn, everybody want to go see the rings, right? Um and I, I used to always say, man, I, I wish it was possible that everybody could go to space. And they always promised us that someday space travel would be opened up to everybody. And we're at that time now. They're saying um, within the next hundred years, within that next hundred years, from now to 2100, that's within 80 years interstellar space travel will be opened up to everybody on earth but it's not what we thought and no one is really talking about that they sweeping it under the rug as a child i always imagined interstellar space travel as a bunch of humans loading up into rockets and going traveling the, the universe we're an advanced species now right we we're supposed to be traveling interstellar we're supposed to be traveling at least the solar system by now assuming space is real keep that in mind speaking theoretically right now let me load up some images i want to make some points today Hold on a minute. Uh, hit the like and share button on your way in. If you don't mind, hit the like and share button on your way. In. I always thought space travel for everybody was going to be a bunch of humans loading up on rockets everywhere. And then, you know, just like the airport, you know, when you go to the airport, you see all of these humans loading up on airport in, in, in planes taking off the different destinations. I thought space travel would be that way, but that's dip is is gonna be different. That's why I'm talking about mind uploading. We really gotta talk about this, y'all. Let's go to the screen share real quick, and we'll flip back. So I want y'all to check this out real quick, right? This what I thought space travel for everybody would look like. A bunch of these rockets like this. That's what they told us it would be like. So the globalists can't come up here playing because they always promised us space travel would be us getting the um, rocket scientists and rocket technology that would make it possible. We, we've been taxed billions of dollars to find the right rockets that would allow all of us to go and see space. I hope y'all know that's what we've been doing. 
and they ain't been using the money to build rockets. They've been using the money to, to get into mind uploading. Mind uploading is what's going to take all of the world to space. Now, I want to just say something real quick. What you call space, the universe you believe in, you have to lock in your mind now that it's computer generated. All right, now now hold up a second because we may have some interruptions uh, with the dogs, y'all let me know. If so, we can do something about that. But check this out, right? The universe, the universe that most of these folks believe in is not based on reality. We know that. We know it's CGI. It exists as computer-generated images. Basically, their universe is made by AI. Okay? So, AI is what's going to be creating these new, what they call, synthetic universes. These are universes that exist in cyberspace. They are already doing that now and achieve. they already achieved that. You... There are universes that exist right now in cyberspace. In other words, they've already created alternate realities. Now, they've created the universe that we've been taught, the heliocentric universe, in computer. That don't exist in reality. In order for you to go to a universe that only exists inside of a computer, guess what they got to do? upload your mind inside of the computer they got to keep their promise that's one thing about it if they don't keep their promise and if we're not all able to go to space then they lose because that's what we've been paying money for this is what y'all gotta realize the space programs that we pay into all around the world the, the technology that we paying them to achieve is the technology that would allow space travel coming like airplane flights and, and etc. Here we are reaching 2022 and they haven't achieved it yet but according to the way science progresses we should be somewhere there now. So what we're finding now is they're trying to create false propaganda to say that that's exactly where we are when we're not. What do I mean by that? You got, I'm going to show you something right now. You got all of these folks right now funding independent space tours and all that. But we can't really uh, confirm, we can't confirm you know these tools I'm going to show you some a, a few of them today there's a couple of folks that's saying okay a couple of rich guys around the world so called funding their own uh, moon tours and stuff uh, I got one article pulling that up in a minute we'll talk about it let me know if y'all can hear me because my dogs is tripping in the background but, but let me know if y'all you know still can hear me yeah, man, we about to uh, get into a lot of crazy shit. So, if, if think about what I'm telling y'all real quick, right? If the universe we was taught about all our life was real, and you go outside every day in the real world and they telling you outside you can launch a rocket up and go and see the universe that they showing you in your science books and in on these computer generated images they telling us what we seeing let me show you they saying what we seeing on images like this which is computer generated is really was outside now our reality ain't computer generated but the reality they want us to believe in right here is now the question is if we go outside and launch rockets up is this the reality we're gonna see beyond the sky they're saying yes you can see for yourself 
but you would think they would say come on get in the rocket let's go no they're saying come on let us take your mind out of your body and upload you into a simulation of the universe where you can explore it so now we're all able to travel interstellarly and it's you literally got to be out of your damn mind to do it do you hear what I'm telling you take a minute and, and, and let that, that sink in sink in a minute think about what I'm telling you right we finally achieve interstellar travel travel but you got to be out of your mind literally to do it now listen if the reality that they're giving us right let's go back here if this is the reality that we can go to when we launch rockets off of earth why can't we just launch rockets off earth and go to this reality if somebody say look man it's a place called the bahamas and it's beautiful it's tropical and i'd be like i don't believe you show me and they say okay let me hook you up to this machine and take your damn mind out your body and this place exists inside of a computer well i'm gonna let you go to it out of your mind we ain't really leaving this room i'm gonna take you out your mind and put it in a computer and let you see the you would say man get the hell out of here i'm straight i thought you was time out let's take a trip right but yet that's what's happening now they told us all this time we're gonna be sending humans to space and rockets think about it why wouldn't we go in rockets if it's real why do you have to go out of your mind to see it you're not leaving the earth if you want to say that it's real because you're going to visit it inside of a computer that's foolish if you're not leaving this earth on a rocket like they said they did to see it then it's a lie listen flat earth has been telling people for years that the universe they've been teaching us only exists inside of computer in order if, if we're right now listen if flat earthers are right in order for you to go to a universe that only exists inside of a computer you would have to be out of your mind and you would have to literally be have your mind uploaded into a computer that's like me saying brother it's a place called uh 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 never never land or you know it's a place called jack's beanstalk you know where giants above the clouds and if i can't see, see think about that in order for me to take you to a place that only exists in a book and mythology I got to put you inside of the damn book. If, if the universe you believe in only exists in theory in computer theoretical hypothesis, not in reality, but in computer, uh, in a computer simulations in theory. Then if flat earthers are right about that, when it's time for you to go to that theoretical universe that li that only exists in a computer you won't be getting on rockets brothers and sisters you will literally be losing your mind you will literally have to go inside of a computer to visit a universe that only exists in a computer this proves that the flat earth is one, one line to y'all and that's deep, that's deep that you literally got to be out of your mind to travel to these idiotic places that they theorize of in these computers. And that ought to really concern y'all that they've been spending all our money not to research rockets to get us to space, but to literally find a technology to take us out of our mind. 
They say a mind, a terrible thing, a waste. Check it out. Uploading your mind into a computer is really a risky thing. You don't know if you could, you're at their mercy. You don't know if they'll ever give you your mind back. Once you put your consciousness inside of an avatar, inside of cyberspace. So space is real, but it ain't what y'all thought. It's cyberspace. All of this time, Flat Earth has been telling y'all that your universe only exists on a computer and they're confirming it. Because for you to go to it, you got to go in cyberspace. That space travel. So space is real. Yeah, cyberspace. Mm. Damn. The sad part about it, you would think globalists would be more concerned than us. You would think globalists would be saying, what the fuck? You would think globalists would be disappointed. You would think globalists would be in uproar. But no, I never saw so many people with NASA shirts on at a time where they letting us down. These people trying to steal your soul from you and you don't even see it, that your consciousness is literally your soul. And if you put that inside, that's your electromagnetic signature. Since we dealing with electricity, it's compatible with computer software. Y'all, and a lot of folks so dumbed down, they don't even understand this, 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 it is not as complex as, 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 uh, it, is seen is really not the intelligence that that's controlling our body the intelligence inside of your body that says I want to go take a piss or I want to go eat a piece of cake and you or th that intelligence in you that manifests is will is consciousness or soul that's what exists outside of the body. That's why I can be transported outside of the body with the technology they got. They showed us this shit in Ghostbusters. They was capturing ghosts. The consciousness is the ghost. They was cap. That's what the Ghostbuster is. These folks want our souls, man. And they want you to live inside of a world they created where they can bend and shape the rules of it. A world where they can reprogram the reality, anything can go. They, they're, they're talking about in these simulated worlds, they've erased death out of the code so you can live indefinitely. Because guess what's going to happen? Once people start living their lives in these uh, simulated universes, Elon Musk said you won't be able to distinguish between those and the real world. That shit's scary, bro. How do you know you ever get back home? And we're talking about your soul that's lost. It ain't like your body just lost. See, once your body, let me show you something. show you some um see Elon Musk getting that neural link all of this stuff about trying to cap, uh, get in, hack the mind, mind is to really take our consciousness out of our body man it's, it's really no joke when you look at this this the whole con the whole concept of Elon Musk neural link you can go see that shit in a movie called Transcendence. They've been trying to do that shit way before this dude became popular. He just the front man for it, man. They gonna all this he's serving the agenda of the New World Order. If it wasn't Elon Musk, it would have been another character. You got to be uh, tall, look good in a suit, have good posture. You got to be Elon, listen. These folks are propped up there as the face of these agendas. 
if 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 they didn't have Elon Musk up there uh uh giving the people getting excited get getting the people excited about these new age agendas and it was just the government doing it, it'll be way more pushback. See, they need a rock star. They need these are your scientific rock rock stars, you know. Somebody that can go on and sit down with Joe Rogan and go go and be cool with Jay Z, you know. The government people can't do that, right? They can't. They got. They too bougie. Got to separate, right? You got to have certain people to, to to put these agendas out there at the forefront. But the fact that the agenda was already something that they was discussing and talking about, uh. Way for Elon became popular. Show you he just a Johnny come lately who they now that they ready to bring it to the forefront, they need an ambassador for it. That's how it go. When that when when the governments of the world come to uh terraform the earth with new new concepts that's gonna change our life in these kind of dramatic ways, cause how is this gonna change our life before we go forward? For the first time now, we can achieve out-of-body experiences with man-made technology, and that's not nothing to fucking just turn your nose up at. You ought to be worried now. Man never had access to your soul until now. See, you don't know what your soul is. You want to know why? Because you don't even know that it's your mind. Your soul is your mind. Uploading your mind is uploading your your mind can't listen. I can cut your head open and see your brain, but I can't see your mind. Your mind is the invisible intelligence that's powering the body and even tr- and, 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 and and telling it what to do and, and, and giving it a will to manifest. In other words, your soul, literally your consciousness. So when they could connect all of this up to the head, it ain't dealing with uh, the flesh and bone brain. It's dealing with the electrical energy that's that's being emitted from the center of the brain, and it shoots out from that pineal gland like a light beam, like the sun. All of this electric energy beaming out from the head, creating the crown chakra. That electric energy can be captured. And that's what all of those wires are. Let me show you some. Let me show you some real quick. You need to understand how the technology works so you can see why it's concerning. Now this is our electromagnetic aura right here. This is the human torus field right here. The cup that you see at the top you can look at that as all of your thoughts. You know, when you're thinking inside of your head and you're talking to yourself without moving your mouth, you talk to yourself with a mouth that don't listen. You, you have your mouth completely shut, but yet you be talking inside of your head. How you do that? Your mouth closed. See, is you got another mouth that you can't see that talks in there too. And you got some other ears that listen to it in there. Because look, the voice that's talking that you call in the mind exists in between your ears. The sounds that you hear from the outside world have to enter the ears for you to hear them. But when that voice is talking inside of your head, it don't have to enter the ears. It's already in between the ears. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a intern it's a whole nother being in there that's disconnected from the physical ears and physical mouth. That's why when you close these eyes, that's the same dude that's thinking about beaches and sunny, sunny beaches somewhere. Like you can close your eyes right now and you can think of anything you want. You can close your mouth and still say anything you want to say. You can close your ears and still hear anything you want to hear all in between this in that 
pineal gland. That's the real, that's the true reality. This this one here is the veil reality over that one. But when you lead his body, that dude who was talking and listening and seeing without eyes is still talking, listening, and seeing without eyes. Can't get rid of him. Now, what you can do is capture him. You can make him an eternal slave. In other words, the mind, the part of you uh, 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 that's creating the outside reality from within, that voice that I'm telling you in between, that's what stills going on when you die. That dude, you when they wanted you to think you was crazy, because look, I'm... A lot of smart people will sit in a room for minutes in silence and just be in their mind conversing with themselves, trying to get shit orchestrated and figure shit out. And you'll see them folks accomplish a lot. That's the soul telling you. T see, when the soul came into the body, it had to work its will through the brain. But since our brain got a consciousness of its own, when a soul gives a command, the brain say, I can't do that. The brain say, how am I do that? The brain say, man, that's too hard. And the soul don't rationalize with obstacles in the physical world. It know once it gives the command, it's writing reality as it go. But if the actor ain't going according to the script, the movie will never finish the way it was supposed to be written out. And that's why the soul reincarnate. That's why the man that's shooting the movie say, cut, do the shit over again. And that's how you get stuck coming back here like a nigga flunking. The soul going to get its will fulfilled. If we die undone, it'll you come back to fulfill it. Who want to do that? Look at how they changing the world. They trying to... Listen, let me tell you what's going on. All of this energy you see around your head, they show you that in the cartoons. You know, when the cartoon character got the thought, the thought bubble above their head, like, let me show you. It's like a thought halo that you see with the cartoons and Looney Tunes and shit. It's like a bunch of thought circle in the head. That's real science right there. That's the whole crown that we wear. See, that's the invisible mind that's telling the physical brain. See, once your mind and brain get in unison, then the will of the soul can get through uh, from the top down. That's why they say have an open mind. Don't doubt yourself. Trust your, your, your gut and your soul, that voice inside. Because that's the soul right here, the true self, trying to tell the body what to do. And but when that electric energy transmits through the brain, it got to go through all the programming because they can't program the mind. They can only program the brain. But since the mind got to work its will through the brain, the message get distorted. So the soul is telling the body what to do. But the reason you ain't doing it, because the soul may say one thing, but by the time that message try to go through the brain and be processed through the cells and for you to be fulfilling the will of your soul, the brains are indoctrinated. The brain said, oh, shut up voice in my head. I know that ain't the will of Jesus. If it, and let me go ask my pastor what I should be doing. So your soul is up there like, this motherfucker ain't doing nothing I, I made him to do. This is the nigga that formed your body in the fetal bag. Your soul only created your body to come here to, to manifest its will. This the part of you that they're trying to take. They took this part of us by giving us other wills to manifest. That was the whole thing in religion about manifesting the will of God. Why would they tell you that? Because they don't want you to manifest your will. 
there's a feeling inside of all of us that we know that we have like a cosmic mission here. And you do. You some is is some nigga right now that's telling himself, you know, I've been a janitor at this high school my whole life. My uncle was a janitor here. And he think that was his fate to mop flows at, at the school. There's some dude that's a coach somewhere. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the third generation of coaches here. These is not our true wills. These are the wills of those who created the matrix to distract the soul and keep you reincarnating here. Old people will risk all of the stability that they promise us to go and manifest their wills to fulfill their soul purpose. And that's what set them apart. They don't play it safe. But I got to tell y'all this before we get into space travel and all that. Because you got to understand how it's going to be possible. In order for you to understand that, you really need to know what the mind is, what the soul is. So basically, this is a representation of the mind. You can't see the mind, but this is the... This is the basically how it would look if you could see it. What we call the higher self. This is the voice that's talking to you, family. Let's take a break. So guys, we're back. Let me go back and let's go back and, 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 and talk some more about what the mind is, guys. This is very important, right? Hit the like button and hit the share button. Um, throughout the stream, we may have to pause a minute because I got some stuff going on in the background and my dogs are kind of tripping. But this is a very important stream that I think is worth your while, guys. So check this out, right? Uh, basically, this halo above your head is spinning around. When the wheel of the soul is transmitted properly through the mind, it finds its way through the heart, and that's where manifestation began. From the heart, 
that will is pumped out properly through every cell in the body and the universe begin to respond to you. Did you hear what I said? This is the electromagnetic energy above you that you call the mind. It, it's the soul telling the body why I created you, what you need to be doing while you're here. And once you start to listen to that voice within, start to live out your universal purpose and there's no greater feeling than that. It beats any regular mundane safe way of living. Now check this out. That it's a risk you pay to do that. It's the fact that the brain is telling you, man, let me just work my job and retire when I'm 50 and do all that and mop these flows forever and play it safe. The brain is dealing with survival. It's connected directly to just logic and what's going to get you hand to mouth. The soul ain't concerned with none of that. It knows once you get in tune with, with, with the plan that it had before you was even born, that, see, you already had a plan that was successful. See, listen, before you came into the body, this soul existed. It, it, it envisioned a whole lifetime before it came into your parents. It, it planned everything out. But when it fell into the body, amnesia set in. You start carrying out different plans. Your mom and daddy wanted you to be shit. The daddy said you're going to play football, want, trying to live through you with his dreams. Mama said, boy, you look good rapping. You should do that or whatever. But somewhere along the way, society said you should be this. Society said, no, you want to be a point guard. Society said, no, you want to be this or that. The soul had a whole nother purpose for you before you came into the flesh and society gave you all this other stuff. That's not who you really are. Now, check this out. Once you get in tune with what the soul got for you, you will offer some unique to the world that only no one can bring but you. And it'll open up doors that you was trying to open all your life plan. It's safe. The soul had a successful plant. Before the soul came here, it existed outside of time. So it foresaw your whole lifetime successfully. What happens is when that vision gets distorted by the programming, you start creating something else. It's a nightmare. The soul ain't concerned with none of the stuff the brain is trying to play it safe because the soul already saw you successful from a baby to your death. It saw your whole life before it came here play out in a glorious way if you only stick with the plan. It, it ain't even, see the brain don't know that. The brain is what was created just lately when you were, when the body was born and made. But the consciousness is, is, predates that body you're an old soul that's that voice inside of your brain that's the old ancient you trying to tell this new dumbass body this this ancient shit and the body just won't get it together let me get a mic check uh real quick because my levels look just a tad bit low and i'm dropping too much knowledge to be low L can y'all please give me warns in the chat room uh, real quick get, and I'm going to continue and we're going to get into the, the, the meat of the topic with the mind uploading and the space travel that's the easy stuff we got to go here first though let me get a one y'all if we if we tracking if you can hear because I'm not talking too loud today so I want to make sure I'm still legible I hate not to be heard. Okay, we loud and clear. I'm going to keep going. No problem. So think about what I'm saying right here, right? 
when you see the uh, cartoon characters with all the different thoughts above their head, that's the will of the soul. Let me show you something. When the soul says, the soul got a different wills that it wants you to manifest every day. Every day these boxes change. The soul got a checklist that it planned out for every day of your life. If you listen to the voice within, look, you already had a doggone calendar and that calendar started from your birth to your death and your soul had something for you to do on every day in that calendar and you ain't doing it. Each day there's some different things in this box to check off but you ain't doing it because you ain't listening to the voice within. So what happens is the soul said one thing in this box and one thing in this box and one thing in this box. But when all that gets sucked into the brain, guess what happened? The brain is your damn enemy. You know what? I must, I ain't going to say that. The brain, if it ain't control, is your worst enemy. Because the brain will take these thoughts from the mind and turn them into motherfucking pledge so what let me show you what i mean so let's just use a shallow example so let's say your soul say in this box hey hey man you should go and step to that girl over there right and you feel in your heart that that girl over there is the woman for you or whatever that's your soul telling you to do that you can feel it that this shit here is, is like meant to be right What'll happen is when that thought come into the brain, the brain will say, oh, man, I ain't got no good outfit on. Oh, shit, I left my cologne at the house. Oh, shit, man, I ain't got my favorite hat on. Oh, shit, you, you, the brain will start giving all of these rationalized, earthly, because the brain trying to keep you safe, right? I get it. It's trying to keep you safe, but that can get in the way right of, of 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 you manifesting the will of the soul and i used a little shallow example with dating you know but y'all get what i'm saying here and this is how we end up getting off track of our universal uh plan and purpose so about to move forward because now i wanted you to understand what the mind is Now that we know what the mind is, it's the soul. It's this energy around your body that you see here. Now look, that energy, when it's getting ready to, to tell your body, like when you get a feeling in your gut, it starts in the mind, it's working up this pole level, up this spine, right? Your gut, your heart, your mind, all that's on fire, right? Now check this out. It's starting from the top down and bottom up it's starting from the top down because at the same time you get this good idea in your mind you get this butterfly feeling in your stomach and guess what happened your heart start beating like a motherfucker because now them two energies collide at the heart and that's when you realize oh I got it that's what I should be doing if you don't act on that you just miss something powerful in your life when you sitting there trying to figure out your purpose and you 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 doubt yourself when you have that good idea that's your soul telling you yeah that's what i was saying we was gonna be born here to do that and that's what we and you didn't do it because you said no nah, man I ain't finna invest $500 on that machine for my business. You know why? Because I can use that to get ahead another month on rent. Or you start thinking it's safe. That's the rational brain. And you don't never take a gamble on yourself. But now let me get away from that, man. Because now we see what the mind is, right? When this body die, that's the part of you that live on. Let me show you something, man. When this body die, 
that's the part of you that say, man, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. I wish I wouldn't have done that. And I wish I wouldn't have done that. And when your soul go to making them wishes, it wishes itself back to the earth. It's called reincarnation. You're creating a hell for yourself. Becky hit me with a bomb. Shit, I need about two, three right about now. Think about what I just told you. This soul around your body had a wish list. And if you leave without the wish list fulfilled, it's going to wish itself back. Ain't nothing you can do about it, man. It's just like if you slap your mama by mistake. The moment you do that shit, you go, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. You go, ain't nothing could stop you from that. That regret is what keep you reincarnating. So that when the body die, that's the part of you that start having it don't want to move on. Cause it say, I wish I wouldn't have did that and all them wishes is making, and the universe gonna grant them instantly. Boom, you born again. Go back and fix it then. <laughs> so that I'm trying to free a lot of you. Now listen. Be careful what you wish for. Now check this out. This is the part of us that they're capturing. All of this electromagnetic energy, it, you have these neurons on your brain, right? Let me show you some. You have a bunch of these receptors all throughout your brain we're talking about is so many of them that they can wrap from continent to continent more than once on each human brain that's how compressed they are and how long it'll be so this is a vast network complex your brain is basically the biggest supercomputer on earth that they trying to hack but let me show you some right now all of these neurons is what take the electromagnetic invisible energy of the higher self that exists on another dimension. It's trying to work its will through this avatar. The connection point is these neurons. That's what's fucking us up because they have re, they have damaged these neurons and reprogrammed them that when the soul gives the brain a message, it, this network is distorted and compromised. The signal ain't getting through right. It turns into doubt and all of that, right? So once we get these two in unison, I'll, we immediately transform and reverse that automatically in a second, right? So have no fears. So check this out. How this works is your soul is an electromagnetic synergy that energy that can be detected with the right technology so we can prove the existence of the soul we can improve the existence of that voice that's talking inside of your mind as a real entity that existing in another dimension at the same space and time as this dimension and scientists literally can prove that there's another entity within you trying to manifest his will through the body in fact when you die they can even prove when that entity leaves the body so listen what i'm saying i'm crawling for we walking we ain't even got into the main thing yet because most folks don't even know what the mind is so they won't even know what the hell they uploading they'll have no idea that they're handing their soul over So listen, if, if me and you was playing a video game in a s simulated universe where we had to upload our mind into it, our bodies would lay down and in that video game, guess what you would use that the video game didn't create? See, the video game makers create the world. They create the simulation. They give you the guns and the weapons. If me and you upload into Halo, 
right? All of that's created by the gamers, by the makers of the game. Even our avatars in the game is made by them. But what they don't make is our mind and our consciousness. They don't tell you what to do in the game. That's your own willpower that you just uploaded into their game. And see, what's going on is this. When you get inside of that Halo video game, you saying, I want to go do this. I want to go do that. That one that's saying, I want to go over here. I want to do that. That's the soul. That's what you just uploaded into the game. But what happens when you say, I want to get out? And the makers of the game say, no, nigga, you stuck inside a halo. <laughs> it ain't funny, though, man. It's sad. They can keep you in that shit for eternity. Now, now the laughing stopped, right? We ain't even talking about space travel yet because now we know space is just cyberspace. Now you see why video game makers is working with NASA and shit. Because, yeah, they're going to send you to space, all right, cyberspace. You know what all of these little wires are? They are interceptors. Here are the original neurons that, listen, these neurons connect your soul to your body. Your soul is telling your body what to do. That's called willpower and consciousness. I want to go over here and kiss my daughter, boom, and you go do it. That's because the, the, the mind gave a information to the brain, the brain processed it into an action. When that's interrupted, somebody can hijack your willpower and have you living out they will. And that's what most of the world doing through programming. But let me show you some. All of that electromagnetic energy, the soul, the consciousness, is being poured into the brain. What's intercepting that uh, energy is your neurons and then the neurons hold on a minute guys we may have we may have to take a break we're gonna go deep tonight y'all hit the like like to thank all of our Patreons for their continued support. It means so much to us. To become a Patreon, log on to www.patreon forward slash Brother Sanchez. So guys, I want you to think about what I'm saying here, right? So let's let's go into this. So your soul exists on a higher dimension. You have these different alternate bodies. Some of these bodies exist on lower dimensions and they're trying to influence the body from the downward upward. From jet, see when you coming from the root chakra, you dealing with everything that's linked to survival on Earth. That can kind of get in the way of you trying some different, which is what the soul came here to do. The soul ain't come here to just survive, okay? So that's dealing with if people that's influenced by only the gut survival instinct versus people that's coming from the top down. That would be more intuitive creatures. All right, so. Listen, everyone has both of these energies. 
but the energy that's coming from the top down is what we call conscious the consciousness but what a seat of the consciousness rely you see what i'm saying so this energy flows up and down the body and it influences us in all of these different areas that you see on the image you know the gut feeling in your stomach influence your action the feeling in your chest and your heart pride ego all of that in your chest right there that influences the action in a big way that's why that's lit up right there that's the heart what you say out of your throat all of this thing on this chart is real man but see what i'm showing you is what the mind is that's the thinker that's the observer that's what you're putting into the synthetic universe the one that has will see that's why when you dream you the part of you that would walk around in this world and say i want to eat some ice cream i want to pop some popcorn that part of you is 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 not using the body that's laying in the bed because it's active in the dream saying what it want to do there that's the one that says i i i i want to do this i want to do that when you dreaming that has left your body that's why the dude in the bed he has no clue what's going on because the real him is somewhere in an alternate reality that we call a dream saying what he want to do and don't want to do in that world that's the observer that's the one that's uh manifesting its will that that that's the real self that's the, literally the soul that's what's being intercepted with the wires that you see here if you notice these wires are nothing but synthetic neurons these are the natural neurons that exist that connect our soul to our body but they can intercept the soul because why let me show you the soul is pouring itself into the body only way they can't do this is if you dead like if if this person in this image right now die right now all of this energy around their body will be free to go wherever it want to go but that's what i'm saying this generation ain't gonna have no more deaths only way they can get your soul is why you're alive because your soul is pouring itself through the body and it's connecting its energy through the body through these neurons that means literally on some real life ghostbuster shit your soul can be intercepted with fake neurons these are interceptors these is what's allowing the conscious one the observer to leave this body and all that electric energy that will be processed through the body that your soul will be processed through your body it's intercepted and it goes through these wires and it's uploaded into a computer and now you're walking around a damn fake simulated world saying oh i, I want to do this i want it now you're you, you see what i'm saying that's what we're uploading so now let's talk about space travel but before since we got this first segment out the way with understanding what the mind is what we're handing them what, what why this is important because they're going to be telling you your children can't go to school if they don't upload class is going to be in egypt today and all of the students right let me show you and all of the students are hooking up and uploading because we're meeting at the Sphinx today. And then we're going to Saturn. How do you feel about a future where it's coming for people to be out of their body? Now, one way we achieved this was through meditation and we would explore alternate realities. But these realities were created by Mother Nature, not man man now can intercept that consciousness and have you living out eternity in alternate worlds that's made by bill gates ain't that ironic bill gates they're building gates for the soul how, how, 
how to see the way out of this reality is death. How do you get out of a reality? See, look, here's what you realize. When your soul is is wired into this fake world, they can just uh kill the body and your soul will still be inside of the computer. This is ele pure electromagnetic energy. Only way it can be intercepted with modern technology is the whole Neuralink. The, why you think it's called the Neuralink, y'all? It's connecting to the neurons. It's intercepting the soul. It's dethroning you, literally. When you see the ancestors with the throne above their head, this is the seat of the soul. That's a sacred throne. I'm telling you right now. That, now, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and we're going to read about interstellar interstellar travel via mind uploading don't you go nowhere you in the best you at the best youtube channel on flat earth baby we about we about to get it in be right back in a minute like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell be sure to select all so that you can receive notifications every time we go live and upload to the channel attention all music artists let's collab Salise Beats by Sanchez log on to brosanchez.com forward slash beats hyphen by hyphen Sanchez. Click on package discounts if you are looking to purchase two or more leases. <laughs> Sanchez cocinando.
All right, y'all. Thank you all for that. Let's get it. Let's get right into it now. How mind uploading could enable interstellar travel. The ability to upload the human brain into computer software, first of all, is not the brain. You're not going to upload a fucking uh, physical organ. What's going to be uploaded is the non-physical mind that's that the brain ain't nothing but a processor man let me show i keep see look the brain ain't doing that but processing this invisible will this energy around the body is what they're trying to get don't let them fool you they told you up here is mind uploading not putting the brain into a computer think about that you going to put the brain is a physical organ so we can't be talking about putting that into the computer all right so let's make sure we keep that clear because they don't want to be clear on that so the ability to upload the human brain into computer software or advanced artificial intelligence modeled on specific individuals could overcome technical roadblocks to deep space flight what kind of technical roadblocks would it overcome? The fact that deep space don't exist. The fact that the plan of sending us to space was launching us out of the body and not launching us off the earth on rockets. It's that deep space is, is burying your soul into a bottomless pit of deep cyberspace. Where you get caught up into an algorithm of infinite synthetic worlds and you never find your way back to the base, to the real world. These folks are some evil motherfuckers. Why would you even be researching this? M remember when we was coming up, y'all, let me just say something. Remember when we was coming up, we would say, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Remember those days where we thought the smartest people in the world were the rocket scientists why because they making the most money these folks man sucking up our tax dollars like you don't boy listen and they're supposed to be creating the rockets that's gonna get humanity to space but that ain't what they doing with our money y'all they over here trying to figure out how to intercept your god doggone soul We should have been saying you don't have to be a soul snatcher because they weren't building rockets you the rocket and they trying to launch you into their world and out of the real world you know why because the world they created don't exist in reality and in order for you to go to it you literally got to be out of your mind Think about th this shit is really getting deep why people are so lost and stuck and concerned with all sorts of superficial things. This is what these folks are talking about, what they're d into. And what are everybody else into? Let's go back to the chart. Let me show you what they into. Root chakra shit. Let's prepare economically. Let's do this. Everything is superficial. My money, right? It, it, what I'm saying is this right here, guys. Because I don't want to shit on no, nothing nobody doing. Let me just stop. But what I'm going to say is this. You need to be thinking about what you're going to tell these folks when they say your, child, your, your, you know, your children got to enroll into these schools via mind uploading. That's going to be the future. That's maybe your children ain't going to experience it, but their children's children will. If you become a great grandfather in your lifetime or great grandmother, you'll be around to see some of your grandchildren hand their souls over. And before you leave this earth on your last leg, you'll see everything Brother Sanchez manifesting. You'll see everything Brother Sanchez said manifest is going to break your heart as you withering away. To see the young kids falling into the trap that I'm telling y'all about right now in 2021. I'm far 
ahead of my time with these streams, y'all. That's what I'm saying. This is stuff they're going to be implementing in the near future. You're going to see it, and you're going to be like, man, that's the shit he was talking about when you taking your dentures out. And you saying, yeah, man, this is, yeah, it is going to hurt us as we withering away. And, but guess what, though? Some of us going to be the last humans to die a real death. Some of these children going to be uploaded directly into simulations in the future. They'll never know what the real world is. In other words, where are we headed to? We're not headed to a space where you have a bunch of humans, all right, on rockets being launched up. Let me see some real. Let me show you some. See, this this what they want y'all to think about when you hear about everybody going to space, humans going space travel being open to everybody. Just think of this. Fields and fields of these rockets with humans on them stacked up, being launched, and now we're interstellar group of people we're interstellar race and species now we're going to talk about that later because we know that's bull crap and the real way that we going is this way with out of being out of your mind so they've been telling you is this way but it's really been this way now do y'all see you don't pay attention to the symbolism in Hollywood, man. This is how we're going to space, y'all. Not like this. But look at the symbolism, though. I want you to open your mind up and look at the symbolism. They've been telling us all along it's going to be fields and fields of rockets, humans going to space, right? Right? And all along, it's been this way. It's been this way. Let me show you something real quick, right? As long as the body is still wired to the soul and the body don't have no uh, lethal damage to it, the body can, can keep going on for hundreds and thousands of even millions of years. I'm not even making this up. I know it sounds crazy. Now, they showed y'all this in the movie Demolition Man. Go back and watch it with Wesley Snipes, Demolition Man. Your physical body can live out indefinitely with the right technology. Why am I telling you this? Only... On, as long as the soul is still wired to the body and the body don't got no lethal damage, we can be superhumans. And guess what? That's what this is. They told y'all in the future, we're going to be going to space. They also told you in the future, humans won't die and they'll be superhumans. But you didn't know it was like this though. See, they got the technology to keep your human body in, in a pristine, non-lethal, non-aging state with a, this type of liquid gel right here. And they already got that created. Google company Calico been funding a lot of that research too, by the way. And let me show you something about Google company Calico real quick. If you look at the Google Calico logo, it's the flat earth with the North Pole in the middle. This is this company is researching out of body how to, they happen along with getting the, the mind uploading and everything, but they also trying to delete death from the human DNA. They're creating anti-aging technologies. Why is that important? If you look at the symbol of Calico, it's the same symbol as the Matrix Towers. Calico would be the company that's creating this pink fluid 
their that's their job right now. The, the truth is stranger than fiction. Like we watch these movies and we don't see that this is actually what they're trying to do. Right now, as I speak, they they got the uh, technology to keep your body in a pristine state, none aging indefinitely. But why would they want to do that? I'm trying to show you why. Let's go back. Let's 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 do something. As long as your soul is still feeding the body a signature and the body is kept in a non-lethal condition, you can live forever inside of one of these. Everybody in the Matrix, guess what? They had uh, this shit hooked up to their head and they had a bunch of plugs down their spine because that's the chakras. If you go back to the Matrix movie, Look at the spinal cord. They got all of them buttons down the spinal cord because they got to intercept the uh, crown. They got to intercept the mind and they got to intercept is is seven chakras down this base. All right. And that's why in the matrix, they had the cords down the spinal cord. Them the, they're basically trying to it's, well that's it they uploading us you know and if you watch the matrix that's exactly what, what what's going on now in the world with this mind uploading we're going into cyberspace we're leaving the real world and if you think about a future where most of the population on earth don't live on the earth they live out of their body connected to pods who gonna be here to, to uptake the place Earth will turn into exactly what we see in the in the, in the movie. The Earth need humans in order for it to sustain itself. There will be nothing here with the, that the trees could rely on to get rid of the uh to give them carbon dioxide. Without us, all the trees would die. That's why in this Matrix movie, when you see the humans hooked up to the pods, you don't see no vegetation on Earth. We got a symbiotic relationship with the earth. And if we leave, everything else will leave. It's like a domino effect. Reality basically is where we agree it is. And we all is subconsciously agreeing to go into their fake world. By default, the, the more we entertain it, the more we th look at them as saviors. They got it under control. They know the answer for the future. They, if, they're, if they're in charge of defining what the future is and telling, see, we don't think ahead. We don't say what kind of future I want to create. You let them people create your future for you. You let them show you movies to show you what the future's supposed to look like. And if you ain't up on this, you whack, you boring. It's the future, man. You better get up on it, right? We're in a technocracy. That's part of this, too. Like, you're going to be canceled out of society. People are going to say, ah, oh, he's just some conspiracy theorist. Dude, it's cool. Just upload. Right, it's it's just uploading. Come on, you know, because people believe in them. You know, it, it's it's crazy, man. Hold hold on a minute. Let me let me check some. We so I want I want to give you the symbolism because they've been telling us we go into space with rockets. If space was real, we would really be be going on rockets. If they was to, to do that, that would prove space is real. If space only exists in a computer, then you could go there this way, like Flat Earther said. And guess which way you're going to go there? This way. Think about how crazy that is. Instead of us going to space this way, we're going this way. And that's exactly what the flat earthers have been telling you guys that your space is in a computer software. And if you were to go there, you would have to go in a computer and we would laugh. Some flat earthers laugh at that. They joke like that. But we ain't laughing no more because it's like, yo, do you see this shit? They're really trying to make them go in a computer like 
I want y'all to think about that, right? A lot of flat earthers joke and laugh like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, your, your, your universe is fake. It only exists in a computer. And they'd be like, well, we go on to space right now. And the flat earthers say, yeah, if you go to space, bro, you will have to go inside of the computer. Ha, 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 ha. It ain't no joke, bro. They're really trying to do that. Like, it's it's funny, but it's, it's, it's at this point, it's real. Like, it's crazy now. Like, we joked on that. Like, bro. Okay, the only way you can go to your universe is if they put you in a computer. Because <laughs> it ain't real, it's just CGI. And now they really trying to put their people in a computer. Yo, it ain't a joke no more. Like, these folks is fucking evil, man. If, if the universe they taught you was real... Why would they spend the last couple decades trying to take your mind out your body versus building the right rockets to get us to space like they said they supposed to be doing? People been saying for years, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. What the hell are the rocket scientists doing if the whole space travel was going to be mine uploading all along? Because this ain't no technology that you just start researching overnight and you get it together. Y'all had to been researching this even before the moon missions. This is like the most advanced technology of all time. This is the technology to capture the damn soul now. That means you've been researching this a hell of a long time. So the whole while you've been telling us we've been paying the rocket scientists all that money and we've been researching rocket technology, you've been lying. Because you can't been researching them both. If you would have been just researching rocket science, like you said, man, our rockets would look better than this shit. This look like a damn butt light can. How the hell you got these these cars look like alien cars and our rockets still look like some shit that came off the goddamn hillbillies. Goddamn rocket look like a 70s RV look like Scooby Doo van. Goddamn how y'all got cars that look like aliens made them, but your goddamn rockets made by Bud Light? Bud. Why? Zer. Goddamn rocket look like the Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz. I'm not getting on that shit. Come on, it don't make no sense. Y'all ain't been studying rockets. The whole time you've been trying to figure out how to steal our souls. Ain't no way you have found out how to upload a nigga mind, but you still got rockets that look like seven up made. You still got rockets that look like uh, Reynolds rap did the job on. It, it don't add up, y'all. By uploading human minds into computer software, serious obstacles to interstellar travel may be overcome. What's the obstacles? The fact that the shit never existed in the first place. Well, it, it wasn't no op you the obstacle, goddamn hit me, Becky. One of the largest roadblocks facing a 100-year Starship initiative, a proposal drafted by DARPA and NASA to send people to the stars by the year 2100, is the, is the limited span of human lifetime coupled with the long spans of time needed to reach foreign stars using current propulsion technology travel to a nearby star such as our closest star system Alpha Centauri which also has a planet with about the mass of the Earth orbiting it 
would take close to a hundred thousand years. They kill me with these long ass parentheses in between shit. Using current propulsion technology to travel to a nearby star, such as our closest star system, Alpha Centauri, and a dude down the street that I tipped off, he was a panhandler. And you know, I woke up this morning and I had uh, uh, Java juice and I had uh, 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 uh. They fit a whole book in between them little parentheses. Just get to the next word like a fool. Sending avatars in place of actual humans. Okay, so now you gonna send avatars now? Oh, hold up, I thought we were sending actual humans on, on the hillbilly rockets. What happened to that idea? Uh, who, when, when did the plans change? Who, who said, you know what, maybe building these butt light cans ain't a good idea. Let's just take their minds out their body. How did we get from butt light can to mind out of body, baby? Oh, that's a big jump now from butt light can to mind out of body. Y'all better wake up. This is what they want to do to your children, children. Maybe your children. Who knows when it'll come in? This is, this is crazy. Listen. Sending avatars in place of actual humans could offer a number of advantages. I'm sure it could. Guess what one advantage is? We ain't got to prove space now. The advantage that it can offer is that the universe we taught y'all was a lie the whole time. We never could take you there on the butt light cans in the first place. That's the advantage that we never could get you to Alpha Centauri on the Budweiser can. We couldn't get you that Scooby van couldn't get you there. That's the advantage. The advantage is, man, look at this shit. It's easier to get you there this way than to get you there this way, man. Just, just look at this now and go outside and look at your trash can. <laughs> Y'all remember them tin trash cans that they used to have back in the day, the aluminum trash cans, them drum thing. <laughs> they didn't even, listen, man. Y'all, this is, oh, uh, man, boy, let's read more. Yeah, it got a lot of advantages, don't it? Look at there. Whoo, man, that hurts. That hurts the advantages. I'm pretty sure it's quite convenient, yeah. Yeah, it's quite convenient to just take us out of our minds and put us into the computer to show us the universe because the universe don't exist in the real reality. That's the advantage. Oh man, that hurts. An E-Crew, a crew of human uploads implemented in solid state electronic circuitry will not require air, water, food, medical care, or radiation shielding and may be, have, may be able to withstand extreme acceleration. You know how you're going to be able to do that? This why. This why. This why. How would you be able to, this, if you really look at the Matrix movie, everything we just read is the technology used for these humans to sustain the environments they in now. Normally, humans up at these altitudes couldn't withstand the pressures. But they can just stack, see the plan is this. Once you uh, upload that's it. It don't matter. You you get you board onto a rocket, and inside of the rocket, it ain't no regular seats. It's this. Each rocket has towers of humans, and they saying, okay, we're going to plug you up. But guess what? The moment you plug up, you never leave Earth. Listen what I'm telling you. The moment you, they're going to put a bunch of humans on rockets 
And on the Rockets, they gonna have you hooked up to this. And they gonna say, okay, we about to take off. And they gonna wire up the simulation to your brain. And it's gonna simulate a takeoff in a synthetic universe. That's gonna be your fake birth. The trick is, you never gonna leave the earth. Once they wire up your brain in that rocket, it's a fake takeoff. The rocket ain't never left Earth. They start the simulation right there. You think you left Earth. You just left your mind. You left your fucking your brain. It was a fake takeoff into a fake universe. The rocket never left the Earth. And it'll never come back to the Earth. And when you leave that universe and they unhook your brain from the fake doggone transmitters, they'll never tell you that your real body's still on earth. They got you now. You out of your body. They got you now. The fake lunch is the fake birth. That's, that's, the, that's the crossover. That's why the rocket shaped like a phallus, by the way. This is sex magic as well. You got to understand this. Take a minute to take what I'm saying here. Once everybody board the rocket and connect to the simulation, they telling you we ain't going to start the doggone uh, uh interceptors until we get to a certain place in space because we want y'all to be able to see the lunch off and everything and maybe when we pass the moon we'll start running the simulation but that's what I'm saying my belief is that the moment you connect they fool you you never leave the earth man you stay on that rocket forever just like this and it's a fake lunch if y'all get what I'm saying they recreate this exact world in, a, in another alternate in cyberspace and the moment you connect you think you on the same rocket you in a in a mirror world that they created and they do a fake rocket lunch and you think you went to space and you come back here and you just left the real world and never make it back and you, they got you in this mirror world. Because Elon Musk said you won't be able to tell the difference. There's an old saying that said the grass ain't always greener on the other side. But you know, when I walk inside a Sam's Club and I walk inside of these stores and I walk past the HD TVs and all that, these TVs, the grass is greener in a TV than it is outside. And that's sad that when I look at nature on the TV, I want to be at that lake that's on the TV that's in high definition than at the lake down the street because the community outside polluted, but the world in the computer looks so fucking beautiful. They're enticing you to go into the screen they already got you halfway there. This generation for the past couple uh, uh, decades have been staring into screens all their life. All we do is look into screens. We already there. They got you already absorbed in looking into the screen. So you one step away from just going into the screen. Reality, the grass is greener on the other side in high definition. You go when you go outside, it's polluted, man. They've neglected our communities to build our reality pristine in cyberspace, Becky. Let's get back to the to the to the lesson. Let's get back to the lesson. This is deep stuff. This is deep stuff. All right, we're going to continue here, guys. Thank you for your patience. Ooh, man, this got me uptight. 
for these bastards. All along, this was the plan. All along, this was, and I know it was. You let me say this before we move on. You can't tell me this wasn't the plan all along, because we're talking about mind uploading. This ain't some you just woke up one day and you know what? We can send them to space by uploading their mind. Yeah, go and hook up a little mind uploader right quick and let's get that done. No, bro, this take years. This take, it take way longer to figure out how to take my mind out of my body than it does for you to get the damn butt like can together. And Becky know that's right here. So you was never trying to get the butt light cans together. The whole while you was trying to lunch my damn my, you the rocket family. They trying to lunch your mind out your body and a mind a terrible thing to waste. Let me let me see some. So you can do all this. A uh, E crew can do that with no food, no air, no water, and all that. And Calico researching that. It can even anti-age them, y'all. See? This the world they literally trying to create. Where they harvesting us for energy. Hmm. Why you think they creating robots smarter than us? Who you think was governing these towers? If the whole world is living inside of a computer, who gonna govern over our bodies while we ain't here? They creating the machines to do that. They creating the machines to do that. They say in the future, they gonna be 3D printing humans and putting consciousness in them. But where they gonna get the consciousness from? What do you think all of these towers is for, family? That's why Jordan Peele said, get out. Jordan Peele, you got to peel through the layers. It's easy, die a natural death. See, but we're Generation X. They, this the generation they wanted the Pisces God to capture in the net before the end of Pisces. Y'all better listen to me. I'm trying to wake you up. Earth is in Aquarius now. The Pisces God's rules are over. We waking up. We are learning about out of body. So they creating the technology to match our awakening. So you can say fuck going out of my body with meditation. I can just buy an Elon Musk Neuralink. And that's when you go wrong. You are the technology. So, you know, this this is just it's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy um when you think about it, right? Because it let you know that the purpose of the space programs this whole time was to intercept man's consciousness. Solomon built the temple. What was Solomon named? The soul of man. Solomon built the temple for the soul of man. To capture the soul of man. All of the gods that rule this age that's ending are fishermen gods. They trying to capture your soul on a cloud like Jesus. Cyberspace is people living out their lives on clouds and in the clouds like you see here. Cloud nine is on one of these flows, the one the Temptations was singing about, Becky. Just a side joke. But check this out. You can be what you want to be up here in the sky. See, they got, man, y'all got to understand people living on clouds, in the clouds. When they time out at the same time they're researching all this technology, let me show you something. They talking about building a tower to space. Now check this out, dig this, right? 
the concept, what they want to do, right? The idea is you can have hotels, malls, and all of that. You can build upward indefinitely with the new technology they got. So this thing can actually be built up for, you can, it'll be, it's just going to be hella tall. Anyway, this wouldn't be possible on a globe spinning a thousand miles per hour. You know why? Don't you know if you stick your hand out the window of a car that's going a hundred miles per hour on a highway, it feel like your arm about to break. Now imagine this building is your arm, but the car going a thousand miles per hour. Yeah, right. You get it. If you don't, you're a dummy. Now Becky, drop it. Can't build no tower that doggone high on no globe like a fool. And if you got a bunch of doggone towers on a globe spiking up all over the place like that, let me show you what that gonna look like real quick. That's, <laughs> That's what it's gonna look like, fam. A earth with a bunch of towers just spiking up all over the place on a globe that they giving you. And it's gonna look like this, <laughs> Becky drop it. <laughs> Let me quit playing and get back to business. Now check it out, folks. Imagine it, malls and little apartments for the rich, but on some of these flows, you got lunch towers where you go and you hook up to the, uh, let me go to here. So on some of the floor levels, you would have these right here. You see, of saying people who want to leave the earth and go to other worlds, but everybody that do that will never come back to the real world. Eventually, when they get everybody off of the earth into these towers, now they would let the AI robots go up and down the towers uh, changing your fluid sack. You know, your little uh, fluid sack. So you, they'll maintenance the body. And like I said, his body will be able to live on for hundreds, if not thousands of years, as long as your consciousness is still wired inside of any of their simulations. Because we still get an electronic signal through the body. It's sort of like when you're dreaming and we can see you slapping yourself and moving your feet but the the will that you're manifesting ain't in this world you're in a dream world your consciousness is in a dream world in a, another reality and it's saying i want to hop this fence and we can see the electronic transmission because part of your consciousness is still wired to this body we can see you kick your foot in the bed and somebody say oh that nigga running in his dream You see what I'm saying? So as long as that's still wired to the body, it can live on in the dream indefinitely. And they can put you in different dream worlds that they create or different, you know, simulations what they can keep uploading you in indefinitely. And as long as you still wired to the body, like I just explained, they can harvest you and harness your energy. Just like we see in the Matrix. And the AI will keep your body alive inside of these towers with the technology calico. In fact, you will actually reverse age in, in these towers. The, tech, the technology that they got will actually reverse age you. So this is what they're planning on. Now, we can debate whether they can and do it or not. But this is the money they spending. They're saying they can do it. And what they're, this is how they're going to do it. I believe them. I don't think they capping. Yeah, I don't think they capping, y'all.
advanced forms of artificial intelligence modern on specific individuals could also fulfill mission requirements while not risking human life in the progress. What did I just tell y'all? If everybody on a rocket, check this out. If everybody on a rocket is asleep and they're wired into a simulation, who's going to fly the rocket? That's what they just told you. We're in the days of driverless cars, driverless airplanes, and guess what else? They telling you the robot's gonna drive the rocket. But remember, you ain't leaving the earth. The robot's really just gonna maintain the bodies there. Here's, what, here's my bizarre theory for the future that at some point they're going to be the gates going to be open for mine uploading to the world and the government's going to introduce it as mandatory for education and for space travel for you to get for you to be advanced in the future you're going to have to get up on it so this is my bizarre vision for the future that they eventually want to get everybody off of the earth and into the simulation but if people hook up to, into these simulated worlds and and never unhook other people will be concerned or worried you see what i'm saying so i think for a lot of years but for a lot like a a hundred years they'll introduce this technology and they probably will do the right thing you know, let you leave your body, go and see the little fake universe and come back and say, aha, we debunked the flat earthers, we saw a universe, we saw the universe, yeah, but it was fake, it was in a computer. You still ain't going to be able to tell them the truth. But I think that for when they first introduce it, you know they're gonna have to gain favor for a couple of generations they just can't start stealing folks souls they gotta make it like man we went we don't want your soul go ahead go in you can come out and when people get used to just going in and out and they create a world of people comfortable of this type of reality where we're living in different dimensions at the same time and that's what we was doing before government by the way when we were meditators and all that but anyway they're gonna get most of the world at least 95 percent of the world used to it even if it take a hundred years just like with government it took hundreds of years they gotta get the majority used to it and that's why i think they'll spend a period where they probably will do the right thing. And then when the numbers get up to where most of the people used, you know, comfortable with it, start go ahead trapping your ass. And the few people that's left just kill them off. And, and th once we get enough people off of the earth into the simulations, the few that's left and see what's going on, now we can just kill them off. So they will have to implement it on a level like that or either another way they can do it. They could just go ahead and start stealing your soul from the get go. And when your loved ones ask why he ain't woke up yet, they can say uh, we spoke to him and he agreed to stay for another 10 years. Or well, yeah, he don't he decided to live out the rest of his life there. He got a new family, but be lying, though. I don't know how they could do it a lot of ways, man. You know, I'm just reaching. I like to reach with this kind of stuff because the truth stranger than fiction. I mean, look at what we're, 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 we're reading here, what they're trying to do. You would have thought I was a crazy man if I was trying to explain this a few years ago. We should upload human minds on Stephen Hawkins' interstellar mission. Remember, 
Stephen Hawking was talking about mind uploading for space travel before he died. So I told y'all, this ain't nothing new. This something they've been trying to plan all along. This ain't nothing new. They've been trying to plan it all along. If Stephen Hawking was talking about it, guess what? Then you know it It ain't no uh, new agenda. He been talk. This something they've been trying to do. This, this idea go all the way back to the first religious leaders. The concept of taking your soul out your body and is living out its existence and on a cloud. They gave you that with Jesus. That Jesus would take your soul out your body and you will live out the rest of your life in the heavens in the clouds. But they didn't tell you that the cloud was the AI cloud. Cyberspace, virtual space clouds is going to be the future of, of humanity, space travel. This is crazy, man. I, I just still, I'm still in awe, like, with how... Mm. Look at here. This is how humans might finally reach another star system. You mean we ain't going to use the butt light cans? I was looking forward to that. Becky hit me. God. God, I was looking forward to taking the RV, man. Look, we was thinking it was a bunch of uh, uh, rockets pointed upward. And it's beaming you out of here, beaming your consciousness out. I did a video about Makayu Kaku and consciousness uploading. I did one before this one. Go back and check it out. Because Makayu Kaku in that video is talking about beaming your consciousness through these laser beams. Satellite equals Saturn's light. The satellite represent the god Saturn and the all seeing eye. That's let me show you some real quick with symbolism. This the satellite man is how they gonna steal your steal these folks soul. But the satellite, if you actually pay attention to the satellite, what do you get? The all seeing eye. Saturn satellite Saturn. Do you ever pay attention to the symbolism, the all-seeing eye with the triangle? Do you ever pay attention to that? The lines represent the grid inside of the satellite. Listen, these rings are the rings of Saturn. This is satellite, Saturn. The god Saturn got rings, and you look at the rings in the satellite, the all-seeing eye. This is all got uh, spiritual uh, occultism linked to it. I'll sh even show you the god that personifies this technology. Look. This god is more than just a god that they worship. It was a technological idea that they had way before their time. In other words, if they wanted to, the religious leaders of the old days could have invented satellite dishes, but the world wasn't ready for it yet. These people control the past, present, and future. Hitler was going to bring about technology in his time that Elon Musk just bringing about now today. But they said we're not ready for that yet. Why? Because they are Kronos. Saturn is the god of time. They control the times because technology determines what times it is. When technology changes, we say, oh, we're going and we into the future now. When they're not ready for the times to change and the technology to change, they'll kill whoever trying to um, innovate technology to change our paradigm and social structure without their consent. Hitler was trying to bring about free energy systems and all that, and they weren't ready to stop the, the uh, oil industry. It wasn't ready for that yet. They agreed to go after him. They weren't ready for the, for the world to get the TV yet. 
all the governments of the world been knew uh, Tesla's. Tesla had a pat. Hitler took Tesla's idea for the TV patent. He didn't invent it. He just manifested it. He 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 had the resources to manifest it out to Tesla. They 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 forbid him to do that. The government wasn't ready for the TV transition yet. Hitler skipped us ahead. They have to agree when we gonna make these dramatic changes on Earth as a collective. And when somebody wanna do it uh, outside of the mob order, then we gotta get rid of that person. They formed the UN for him. Now check it out. For Hitler to send a message to all of Germany, cause they had the TV first, Hitler was the first man to invent the satellite dish. Becky drop a bomb. That's what I'm telling you. They started uh, resurrecting the god Saturn on Earth during the First World War II. And we entered a new paradigm with these new transmissions, the television wave, radio wave. We entered the net age. This god is the god of the net. He's the fisherman in a lot of religions. Jesus on the cross fishing for the souls of man. How do your soul get caught up in his net? Let me show you. Look at the satellite. Don't it look like a net family? Becky hit me with a bomb. Brother Sanchez trying to save you. Look at what they showing you here. Your soul is one of them red dots. That's what they showing you. Your soul wirelessly beamed from an individual source where you're connected via neural links. See all of this electronic energy around the body is intercepted by the neural links and it reaches one point and that one point is what's beamed out the satellite wirelessly in other words they can't run these wires uh to a uh fake universe above the sky you see what i'm saying they saying but we can beam your consciousness out of here but, the, but what's happening is they're not beaming your consciousness to another world. Your consciousness is being bounced around a system of satellites. That's what Makai Kaku was explaining. That once they beam you from the earth, they'll beam you to the moon base. And from the moon base, you'll start going to other bases to eventually your destination. But once you get caught up in the mazes like that, They'll just start beaming you around a whole circuit for eternity. They'll never beam you back into your body, like I said. They keep you on this trajectory of Saturn, which is this God here. These folks are witches and magicians. That's why he's shaped like a witch hat. So, Saturn became a bunch of gods today that said they want to capture your soul for you to join them in a kingdom. When you die, what if the ancestors said you enter your own kingdom? When they start telling you to enter other people's kingdom, that's you living out your life in, in universes that's patented by Bill Gates and shit. It's a nigga designing a universe for your children's children right now. He said maybe they'll like it if the trees was this shade of green. Ooh, I like this shade of green for the grass. And that and and we think the grass is greener on the other side. They gonna go. And so all of these gods were trying to capture you in a fisherman's net. And they are linked to Saturn. It's because the satellite looks like a fisherman net. And it does capture the soul. Okay. Let's take another uh, break real quick. Let's take a quick break and we're going to come back and, and, and finish out.
We back, guys. Give me a minute, and we about to begin. So we are back in the building. It uh, I wanted to just read some more because to me this is just I'm a, I'm in awe for real, man. I've been talking about this, but just when I read this stuff, it never ceased to stop shocking me. People, this article right here is from 2017, man. This is four years old. See what I'm saying? All right, so, all right, so, um, Giulio Prisco is a futurist, theoretical physicist, and computer scientist. He writes about science, technology, and the future. He's also co-founder of Space Cooperatives, so we already know we dealing with uh, one of them, right? So last year, Russian billionaire Yuri Milner and physicist Stephen Hawking announced the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, a $100 million program. Peep this. Hold on. Dig this, right? See, before I read this, let me just say one thing real quick, right? Don't you realize we're dealing with the world's billionaires? We ain't dealing with, you know... We dealing with the people who control in the world, who, 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 you know, planning the fate in the future of our, our children and all of that. With, cause money talk. These folks are funded. This is you got to think about this when I read this to you. This is what the people with hundreds of billions of dollars are thinking about. You know why? Y'all can't think like this because y'all get up every day just thinking of how to survive these people ain't think about how to survive think about it if you got hundreds of billions of dollars you can do anything you want to do break any law you want to break you can buy nations you can buy people these folks are asking themselves how can we extend our life? You don't think about that? A person like Queen Elizabeth, a person hundreds of billions of dollars, trillions of dollars, what are they thinking about every day? How they can live forever. Who would want to die with hundreds of billions of dollars? So look what we're reading right here. People with that kind of money is putting their money into how they can live forever. People with hundreds of billions of dollars would ask the scientists, how much money do you need that I can cheat death? How much does it cost for me to cheat death? Think about it. A person with hundred billions of dollars ain't thinking, can you make me a new kind of Ferrari? What's the most exquisite newest house you can build me? Man, them folks is thinking of genetics and got these folks in the stem cell labs and they're spending their money on how to cheat death that you know what i'm saying like they ain't thinking like y'all like us you know so look they've at that level now the rich people of the world want to be immortal and what they found out if the rich people can't be immortal without us because if the rich people create simulated worlds where they can upload their consciousness into them they're going to be missing one thing slaves oh rich people don't want to pick their own cotton not even in a simulated universe you better believe that Becky hit me for real yep <laughs> Just saying, rich people ain't gonna be flipping their own burgers even in a simulated universe, nigga. They still need sheeple even in a simulated universe. See, 
the, the, the secret is there is no universe outside if all of us ain't connected to it. In other words, the creator need the creation and the creation need the creator. That's why when I show you these kind of images like this right here, you see there is no sun, there is no moon in this world. If you go back and watch the matrix, the weird, the real world didn't have no water, it didn't have no oceans. But guess what? It didn't have no people, no animals, but guess what? It didn't have no sun and no moon. Because all of that we're creating as a collective. That's why I said that our creation is very powerful. The moment we all leave the earth, it's going to become uninhabitable for the, for the few people that's le left. Because we agree on this as a collective. It's like if, 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 if you leave your house for 10 years and come back, Trees and all of that have been a grew in there. Just with your presence gone, your electromagnetic energy. This is how. See what I'm saying? Is what paves this keeps keeps the space from being taken back from from nature. Think about this, right? Um, the moment we leave, there will be no reason for everything else. Our presence gone will create a chain reaction that'll make everything else die even the sun or moon eventually go away because we're realizing with all of this new technology that the universe is connected to all of us and we're connected to the universe so the, the Neuralink technology is to intercept right let's go back to the image again it's to intercept that connection and connect you to a different universe. Our universe is a, is a simulated uh, universe just like the ones they create. But I don't know about y'all. I'd rather go back the ancient way and follow this path than to go into something new with these evil folks. I don't trust it. So... Look at these wires when we say we're connected to the universe. This is how we're connected. What we finding out is that when we die, we actually wake up somewhere and unplug these uh, wires from our true body. And that's the body that was trying to tell you what to do on Earth, the one that's uh, playing the game, the one using the avatar, the one I showed you earlier. That's him. He's represented by this dude, the real person, not the avatar that they, he's gone into through the wires. See, he's connected to a fake universe, going to a different... We're already connected to the universe now, each of us. You see what I'm saying? That's why we say we're connected. If you look at all of these blue lines going into the head... Look at that just like this. But look at as I was connected wirelessly via the stars. And that's why they call it Starlink. This leads to a computer. The other side of these wires go into the computer. And, that, and, and, and where those wires end that, light comes out into some software. I'm giving you this shit in a nutshell. The light is you being projected into a computer-based universe. See, all of that light around your body is what's creating the universe outside in the back of your brain. In other words, technically, we're already in uh, w one of these right now. We ain't in the base reality. The base reality might look similar to this. Maybe our ancestors left the base reality because we fucked that up too. And maybe when we wake up from this world, we got to go help them fix the mistake that we trying to run from. 
and maybe we built this world to run from it and ended up fucking this one up because we found out we was running from ourselves and that no matter where we go in the universe until we change our behavior we're gonna create the same damn problems becky you better hit me We can keep building new universes, but until we rebuild our minds and our behavior, we're going to have to keep on rebuilding them. We're going deeper and deeper into the bottomless pit. We're running from our own mode and op of operations that we don't want to change. It's possible that we're in a matrix now and we left a world that we already committed these same mistakes. That's possible. And that we're trying to do the same thing again and we just keep running every time we destroy a universe. And we've fallen deeper and deeper into the away from our base reality because we're running from the problem. <coughs> That's possible. But this is what the billionaires of the world are spending their money on. And they found out, yeah, you can live forever, but you got to have hosts. You got to have, in other words, we can't have a collective universe without a collective. The universe ain't just created by a few people. What they, if, if they could create a universe just by themselves and be in it without us trust me they would they would leave us here and go but what they're finding out is what the ancestors said all is connected so they're taking us with them and this is gonna be a great change in the world between now and 2100 with this mind uploading technology this is like a great exodus or a great crossing over So they finding out if we want to be immortal, we got to also have eternal slaves. A un you see, the they can't create a universe with just them in it. In other words, guess what? They got to have enough humans. See, the, 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 the rules of, the, of their fake universe is still based off this reality it's like copy and paste but then you can edit the paste version but it's still the template was the old one so in these new universes you still need certain rules to apply that they can't change that's based upon them copying and pasting from this one which is you need the collective concept they can't there's no universe far that we know of that got a population of like 10. A big world with just like two people or like, as far as we know, like every time you dream, for example, that's still a, a, a fairly a big population like what we see here. We, I never dreamed of a world where only I was in it. Or, you know, you know, you always see random, you always have hosts or audience there. We don't experience these realities as single. We create our own reality single, but we all share the collective. That's the beauty of this. But, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's read some more because this, this really gets deep. You know, I'm, you know, star shot is what they're calling it. Ain't that some star shot shooting you to the stars? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Last year, Russian billionaire fit in, in Stephen Hawkins got hundred million dollar program to develop technologies from this guy, Yuri Milner. All right. For small robotic nanoprobes. Remember now all of the Corona talk. We ain't going to get into that because you know how they getting on that. But a lot of the tech with that, you know, is dealing with what we said there. Let me just stop. But anyway, 
for small robotic nanoprobes and light beams with the power to accelerate to 20% of the speed of light fast enough to reach the nearest star system within a generation. Now remember, they ain't sending you to a, the, the star system. Put it this way. Put it this way, guys. You need to understand this. For your consciousness to upload into a fake universe, how much time will you perceive it as from the time they say, okay, we about to hit the button to the time you oh, da -da, wake up in the simulated universe? That's the whole concept of space traveling. You're uploading through cyberspace. You're, listen to me, your consciousness is traveling through these wires and they're saying you're traveling through the stars. Let me show you some. I know. I wonder if I can. Let me see if I can kind of find the images that they give you. Here we go, right here. When you upload your consciousness, from the time it, they hit the button to get you from out of this world into the computer world, you're gonna experience this. All of these blue little lines is your consciousness separating and being split because your consciousness is created by different uh, uh, factory, different, it ain't just one. It's one thing made of many departments. It's many things that make up the consciousness. One of them lines can be hate. One of them lines can be your love. Because why? Let me show you some. When you get in the simulated universe, You're going to have to be able to love over there and hate over there and get jealous and have all of these human emotions we got or whatever they are. Each why is holding different parts of the consciousness. Maybe one got love, hate, your jealousy. They upload all of that over there. That's what they're taking over there, the emotional body, the spirit body. The energy in motion, emotional state. The, 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 you see what I'm saying? The electric uh, energy that we can't see. You can't see love, but you feel it. You, you manifest it in reality. How do you do it in a computer? Well, we got to unplug the, the part of you that's responsible for love and upload that over there too. Otherwise, when you have a date, in the fake world, you'll be like, hey, man, why why I can't love? And then Bill Gates will be like, my bad, nigga. I forgot to upload your love. Let me hit the button right quick. Type, 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 type. Down, nigga. Now you can love again. You see? That nigga, nigga get, you, you get into the fake world and be like, yo, man, I used to be a hater. In, 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 in the real world, why why I can't be a hater in this world? And Bill Gates gonna be like, yeah, nigga, you see this plug right here? That's the one that's responsible for hate, and we disconnected that shit in the simulation. Hit me, Becky. They gonna tell the haters, yeah, man, y'all niggas was hate too much in, in, in the real world, so we just unconnected this plug right here. That's where all your haterism were coming from. So in the simulation, you can't hate no more. Nigga gonna be like, man, come on, man. Hook my hate back up, man. I wanna be a hater again. Hook my hate back up in the simulation. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just teaching y'all what the wire's about. They got to send all of that over, too, so the haters hate got to go over and all. The hater going to say, Make the, you know what the hater going to do? Let me show you what the hater going to do. The hater going to say before he lay down on the table, before the hater lay down on the table, the hater going to hit the doctor hand and say, listen, you better make sure you get my hate plug tight. <laughs> The hater gonna say, wait, before you send me over, nigga, you better make sure my hate plug is tight as can be. 
<laughs> I want you to get all my hate over on the other side. Make sure the connection is take. Fuck the love. You can unplug that one. <laughs> oh, shit, boy. Hater going to be mad when he get over there and they ain't hook his uh, hate plug up right. <laughs> Oh shit, man, man. Oh man. Oh, let's move on. Hold on. We we about to move on in a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> that shit funny though. Oh man. But but that teaches you how the technology work though. You know what I'm saying? So but this is how you would perceive it when your consciousness all of that the plug get when you uploading then all of a sudden your eyes are open in a new reality but in between it it'll be a brief moment of you going through the wire like Kanye West said through the wire you know I think they show you that scene in the matrix when he touched the mirror kind of go into uh, when they said how you would proceed so so go back to what the article saying about star shot all right the star shot you're gonna perceive it as traveling into the eye all right so just like that let me let me let me let me let me go back here you see this is how you would perceive all of these wires lead to the eye of Saturn which is where they're going to beam you out. Remember, I showed you the uh, satellites. Let's go back to the satellites. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, because here, here, here's what I'm looking for. Let's open this image. This, this is deep because that's what's happening. All of the, What's happening with the Neuralink technology... All of these wires got to go to a single source. You know what that is? Think about it. All of the wires of your computer got to go into a modem. But it's one source that, that's feeding them into the net, the Ethernet cable. Like one of those responsible for the mouse, one for the keyboard, one for that. Part of your consciousness control your liver, your organ, all that. When they make the avatar in the universe, they're going to need all of those electric uh, transmissions to be wired to the avatar body. So like I said, each of these is responsible for, you know, all of that mind power would have been responsible for uh, wiring your human body. But since you leaving it and you going out of body per se, then they'll rewire your real body to a pod and let the AI uh, maintenance. See, because think about it. In the, in the real world, if you scratch yourself, that same divine intelligence will scab up your body. Uh, there's a divine intelligence where we can see our body is smart itself and it's doing things that we don't tell it to do or don't think it to do, but that is doing with, with without your consent. It's like a higher intelligence, right? Um, so that intelligence is connected also to this higher mind. And what I'm saying is all of this wiring to the body is what it is it ends up being a wireless connection to the outside world in reality. You know, but in in simulation, since we're intercepting the country's consciousness from the body that exists here, and we're wiring it to a avatar body, all of that wiring is gonna reach a point where it got to go to a computer, and what's going through those wires is you, the different aspects of your consciousness, Wh wherever these wires end and connect with the computer. All of that electricity is going to be zapped into the computer and into software that's that governs it. And the elect see this, all of these wires is nothing but highways. 
it's to get your consciousness into the computer but at some point it got to go into a singularity and that's why they're talking about uh let me show you wait a minute I'm going to show you this other article just briefly where it's talking about uh, singularity. <laughs> Is it this one? I be on so much stuff. Hold on, man. But if you look at one of uh, these joints, hold on. I'm, I hope I didn't close it. Close it. Well, they calling this this whole technology here as it as it the, the the explanation behind it they say it falls under singularity theory and like i said it's just turning all of these wires into one um beam of consciousness that can be bounced from a satellite so the red dot is the singularity it's the result of all of the, the neural links See, cause check this out, right? What will happen in, in reality is all of these different points of consciousness coming from a higher level, from the higher self, they would be connected to a single point right here. You see the red dot in your chest? That's why they said a heart is the final judge. That's why the God of the Bible words is written in red. Those are the words that should be manifested. That's where the will gets manifested out of the heart. It get processed through the brain and the gut in the form of butterflies, anxiousness, and also racing in your brain and all that. We went through that. We talked about that. But if you see this red dot right here, you could say that that is equivalent to this red dot. All of that... Uh, wiring that we see is braided up at the heart and that's why your heart is just racing when you're trying to make this important decision and the stomach is like butterfly jittery and the mind is gone but the heart right is trying to process that as will and that's the final judge that seals your fate them the words written in red right there. You can't unwrite them or, or erase them. That's the God, like what they speak of in the Bible or the serpent's tongue. So you see the two fangs of the serpent and the red tongue in the middle. The heart speaks. That's the silent uh, voice of the serpent. But I'm, I'm going too deep with that, though. Let's go to uh, how this relates to. See, all of these, these two cups are like two satellites. Beamed at each other. And where they meet at, it's projecting you into this reality. That's how you can look. See, this concept that they trying to do is already been done by nature. They just reverse engineering it. You see what I'm saying? So the concept we see here is that your higher self is being beamed into this middle world from above downward. That's a fallen angel. And then your lower self is being beamed upward. Those two are influencing you here. See, the, the demon or the lower self is down there in the gut trying to get you to act off of a gut reaction. All right, but you need that here on this earth plane for survival, though. If you were trapped like in the jungle or something, you need that. But you got to balance it out because that's your instinct. This is your intuition up here. You see, and once you get them both balanced, that's the key.
But I'm saying all that to say they, they got to connect all of this into the fake world. You have to have an instinct and an intuition even in the simulation. Don't you know when you dream, even in your dream, you still have hate, jealousy, love, uh, 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 anxiety sometime, or you have, uh, you, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you have butterflies in your stomach, even in a dream. You don't get rid of these energy faculties. These are the chakra points. These, this don't go nowhere. We take this with us, even out of the body into other bodies. And that's what they're trying to do now. Because even when they when they transmit your consciousness into the simulation, you're gonna want to experience butterflies there. You're gonna want to experience all of the things that makes us here there, and they gotta plug it all in. Uh, and that's the whole concept of the Neuralinks. Those are just the highways that get you into the beast computer. So the people that's building those. They're building the bridge. That's the bridge that Moses built to get the people to the other side. Splitting the sea is splitting the ether, creating uh, synthetic universes. You create a split in reality where now there's a, a new house for consciousness available that wasn't there. Now it's coexisting with the real ones, you know? So... This is deep stuff, you know. Uh, uh, let's 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 just read on a more. So all of those wires ultimately lead to a wireless transmission, because at some point those physical wires got to connect in in that computer and transmit the electricity into the computer from the wire into the computer. You notice you don't see in the humans right here. See, here's the thing. All of the humans are somewhere in pods. They're somewhere in pods. And they're all hooked up and wired. But all of the wires are going into the trunk of these towers, let's say. But then all of those humans' wires are braided up they get connected to one wire that represent all of their wires. Each individual have a bunch of wires, but all of those get turned into one big wire like what you see here. And that get plugged into the tower, each human, all of their emotions and higher self and lower self, all of that turns into this one big plug here. That get plugged to the, into the tower. And the tower is plugged into the computer that gets you into the simulation. You see what I'm saying? So what happens though is from the tower ain't plugged directly into the computer. And, and what's going on is what they're trying to do is that in, in in, you, instead of running all of these wires into a computer plugging in directly, it's going Wi-Fi. So all of these towers will beam each human to their individual satellite, and from there, they'll beam you up into uh, whatever fake simulations they got. Now, the simulations don't exist in the stars. The simulations don't exist in the stars. They exist in the computer. So what's going on is, what what's happening is, your consciousness is being from the satellite. The red dot represent the wireless uh, connection from the satellite to the computer. They ain't running a bunch of wires. Do you know how crazy that'll be? They ain't gonna run. The far as the wire gonna go is to the tower. Just like with, with your internet in your house. All of your stuff go to a tower and from the dish that's on your house, it's, it go to the c c cable company from there, from the dish. 
everybody ain't running cards directly to Cox and to CenturyLink. You know, they running it to the tower and then it's beam to a a a a, a main dish. And it's all wirelessly going into there via the satellite. So this concept of Saturn makes all of this possible. They said Saturn is the Lord of the Rings. It means he controls all of the souls by stacking them on it. You see these rings right here? You see this? This is why Saturn is the Lord of the Rings. Because this is the world Saturn wanted to create. A world of towers where he controlling uh, uh, everybody in, like we read in the mythology. Eating them. But that's a way of saying you going into a computer, you being eaten. Ethernet. When you eat the net, you eat the net. This is your net around your body, your aura. That's what you're putting into the computer. So Saturn is really eating your net or is via Ethernet transmission. In other words, the net around your body. If I were to grab a hold to it and pull it, and what'll happen is you'll get all of these strings that look like this, and I can snatch the soul out of the body. But it ain't gonna happen that way. That's a stupid way of explaining it, but I want you to picture it. This basically what's happening right here. The soul around our body, instead of it being plugged into the brain wirelessly, it's being intercepted with a wire right here. And they're basically flipping your net inside out, creating a, a wormhole, putting you into a simulation on the other end. So if you take this and pull one side, the, the, and you're breaking the bond and you're, you're splicing that basically to the other end of a fake universe, and you, if you can imagine this net turning into a bunch of wires and, and instead of it being plugged to the earth here, that electric energy is, 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 is uh, intercepted right here. And, and on the other side of a simulated world is where your net is recasted. Think of flipping a net inside out. <clears throat> That's how it would be to make this transition. It, it'll be like the Ouroboros number eight, uh, like a wormhole sort of. Well, it is a wormhole. That's what they're telling you. But let's let's read some more. Cause the thing about it is there have to be a satellite on the other end to receive this, and that satellite is the computer itself. It's a big dish. Out uh, right there by the supercomputer, and that big old satellite is taking the beams of all of these satellites and feeding it to the supercomputer. That big satellite that's kept capturing the light of all these little satellites is represented by the god L right here. <clears throat> you know, so think of it this way if you got Dish Network. They give all of y'all little bitty satellites and you put them on your house. But all of them little satellites is sending a beam to a big ass satellite at the mother base. And from now that's hooked up to their systems letting you get the signal. And that's the same way they're gonna do with, uh, with how you would enter the TV would be literally no different and that's what we're looking at here it's just a wireless signal being beam like an antenna so it, think of a tv box with two little antennas over it looking like an ant right that's you here go your antenna right here the, the antenna that connects you to receive this signal of reality you're in now is right here think of this like a tv with an antenna like let me show you. Here, 
if you open up your eyes, you'll be able to see how they're reverse engineering us. Look at the box. And, and just look at here, right here. Now check this out. Boom. Boom. You see what I'm showing you? You see the TV with the antenna? You see? We've been staring at screens ever since the TV, and now we want to be inside of it. Think about it. How can you advance television technology by granting the wish that people always wanted? How can I be on TV? How can I be the man inside of the TV? You can now. So we think about our reality is made the same way where you receiving a signal from a company to be broadcasted on a screen. But think of yourself as being a signal. And the person, think of you being the, the, the part of the cast on the screen. That's your life. That's how we're living our life here. We're all cast part of a real reality, real cast. We were cast that the concept of a cast and a net casting the net and all that you were casted. The net is the collective, the Akashic, the collective that's creating this, this, the current simulation we in collectively. You see what I'm saying? That's the original web. But uh, the signal it's the template of reality sun moon stars you know people with messed up tvs the coloring might not be right you may say man why my game look different on your tv because his tv messed up or something some people actually don't see reality in color some people don't see the same kind of blue you see because we're all different tvs with our own contrast and brightness settings and all of that but we all know agree on what the colors are like during the black and white tv when you saw teams with red on we are, we know they wearing red you get what i'm saying so we agree on the base reality is what i'm saying but it can be distorted no one's reality is is is, is all the same the template is the fact, like I'm saying, sun, moon, stars, human. There's a consistency here. You see what I'm saying? Even in a dream where we have a sky ground, same sort of base template. Template is temple. But um, um if you imagine yourself of being inside of 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 the TV. You the signal that's being broadcasted on the screen. You know what I'm saying? That's basically how how reality they they reverse engineering what what already exists basically. And now we able see we always been able to go inside of this cyberspace. They had to walk us into it, um, generation by generation and advance us through the technological ranks and rituals to prep and prime us to the point now where we're ready to make the great exodus this the final part of the satanic ritual is to hand over your soul and that's what we're handing over when we enter a future of 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 of, of human of mind uploading see what i'm saying so um that's what I wanted to share with y'all today, man. I gave y'all a lot of knowledge. This is what they've been trying to do. This is where we're at. The satellite, the eye of Saturn, you know. So think about all of this. If you're a globalist, if, if there's any in the chat room, let me know. But, um... Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Mark Zuckerberg is in on this too, by the way, I forgot to say. 
uh, Facebook CEO. All of the, see, you got, listen, I just told you, all of the major internet companies like Google, Facebook, you name it, they're all working with NASA. They're all working with the Starshot Initiative. Everybody on earth has got their money together to get the world out of their body. These people that rule the world, showing their true colors, man. They want, they want the soul of man. They built, they want Solomon, which is the soul of man. And they built the temple for him in the clouds, a AI cloud. Mm. That's how you got to think about this. So yeah, man, I'm going to uh, talk more on this because we're not through, but I don't want to cram it all. So I'm going to stop right here and uh, 